<laughs> what is going on everybody it is new boot <laughs> welcome to georgetown uh guys y'all see this white stuff on the ground i'm not used to this stuff what what is this <laughs> and what am i doing right now i don't even know what i'm doing okay i got i got the plow on the truck um and and i'm, I'm figuring you know i guess it's just like you know trying to run like a skid loader and not well i guess not a skid loader like a push blade on the front of a on the front of a front loader or something or a skid loader um but yeah i'm dealing with traffic here okay uh, i'm trying to clear the road for you person so anyways guys what is going on how has everybody been um yeah well i'm i'm here in georgetown trying to push snow trying to make it look like i know what i'm doing and i have no idea oh my goodness gracious I'm trying to operate this plow here um I'm, i made a boo-boo guys i made a I, I, I made a mistake. I say a mistake. I messed up thinking I could drive through the snow um, And not needing to plow the roads. Well It pays off the, or it, 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 it pays off <laughs> um, I'm paying for it right now. So uh, what am I talking about? I am talking about my Ford LT uh, Was that nine nine thousand? Yeah, I was hauling some diesel. All right. I went and got a load of diesel from the uh, ethanol plant and I tried to come back to town with it, and sure enough, guys, I ran that thing off the road. I was, and what's crazy is I was taking a turn, and I hammered down on it. I goosed her too hard, buddy. And uh, yep, I sent her all the way around, and I put myself off in the ditch. So, yeah, the task at hand, the job at hand right now is to try to, um, yeah, let's go check this out. Uh, is to try to go get myself out of the ditch. Um, I, I brought brought the winch got the hook the winch uh yeah we are gonna go try to see if we can get ourselves out we are stuck bud so uh let me try to clear this path like see all this snow on the hill right here like that'd be scary coming down with that truck i can't believe i tried to do it that's that's what you get uh i guess us southern folks are not meant to drive in the snow and <laughs> I, i'm showing proof of it uh definitely definitely um never seen snow in my life until about i don't know eight years ago when i lived in virginia uh and it was like some of the worst snow they've had in a long time and i got to experience it well at the time i drove a two-wheel drive diesel yeah buddy talk about i was a laughing stock of the the town man <laughs> whoa 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 goodness gracious see i don't even know what i'm doing what happened there uh, see this is i'm just trying to be a good citizen a good samaritan right here and Clear off some of the snow. Isn't the county supposed to be taking care of this stuff? I I don't. I guess not. I guess not. But uh, yeah. Let me show you guys. I quit blabbering my. Whoa, see now there. Now we go. Now we're doing it. Now we're making some progress. Okay. I think I just got to get the hang of it. Um. So yeah, the ethanol plant is down this way. Whoa. We are rolling, buddy. I don't know if this is how fast you're supposed to go with the plow, but oh, watch out, buddy. I hope I don't hit this guy. Like these guys are just cruising through here. Me, I'm struggling on trying to keep it on the road. <laughs> Do I have my plow down too hard? I think maybe. But uh, yeah, uh, so man, we are trying to make some money right now with that diesel. And uh, yeah, really can't do anything in the fields. I think I can plow. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I, think in a, I think I can go actually plow the ground, right? I, I don't know. Can you do that with snow on the ground? I watched Millennial Farmer do it. I watched him do it, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can. Um, but anywho, <laughs> I'm just trying to make my way to the truck. So uh, I will see you guys when we get there. That's right here, up around the corner. All right, guys. So here's the solution that I came up with. So we undogged the kingpin. All right. So we got it disconnected. By I don't know how we did it. But now I need to try to pull this trailer back and slide it without tearing out the tearing up the outriggers or the landing gear, whatever you want to call it. But so I'm gonna try to pull it back and see if we can get it to. Oh, no way, man! I have no traction right here. Of course, the snow and whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's regroup here. All right, guys, we got ourselves a predicament here. <laughs> um, I was able to move the trailer a little bit, and then I could not find anywhere on the truck to hook up the winch. So I was like, maybe I can 
push it a little bit with the plow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm about to try to winch myself out of here. I'm going to hook up to one of these fence posts or whatever. And then we got to... We got to try to, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with this truck. Uh, maybe we can find something, some kind of hook or something. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, let, let we got to get in here um, and winch up to, we got to winch to this, one of these trees. So, yeah, let me figure this one out. All right, guys. So we got it out. Um, it took so much. I, I, it was just, I ended up just using the, the blade of this thing, which probably was not the way to do it. But uh, yeah, I had no other choice. A winch wouldn't hook up, and finally we 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 got it out. The good the news is that we got it out. So now uh, I have to, he's gonna follow me while I'm pushing snow off the road. That way we don't have any more incidences, and we're gonna take it easy. Um, so we're gonna figure out before we get too far. We need to figure out where we're going to go sell this anyway. So we're gonna do that. This was crazy. This was just never again am I gonna. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm learning my lesson. No, it's nothing to play with. <laughs> uh, or I just need to learn how to drive in it. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out where we need to sell this at, and then we're gonna get there. Luckily for us, we don't have far to go to sell this fuel. Uh, I think we can sell it right here in town, so we are gonna get lucky off of that one. But I need to make sure that this old boy does not wreck the semi with all that diesel fuel. We don't want to wreck it. For one, we want to make money. <laughs> and two, I don't want to have to deal with uh, hazmat afterwards. Environmental, you know, coming out here and finding us for spilling diesel fuel or something. All right, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm kind of off the road, not on the road. <laughs> um, not bad for a newbie, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, just follow me, buddy. Follow me. As long as he follows, stays where I've plowed, we should be fine. Um, and it's warming up. I think it's already 31 degrees. So this snow should be melting here soon. I know uh, initially when, this morning it was it was cold. It was super cold. So, but yeah, we should have this uh, snow melting after we get this fuel diesel fuel sold. Um, I think we should look into buying another field because um, I want to get into. Uh, uh, well, I kind of just push snow up in that intersection. No big deal. Uh, I want to get into, uh, you know, expanding the fields. And then uh, maybe uh, one thing that we need to upgrade is, uh, or we need to do is actually get a cedar. Um, we have a uh, road crop cedar, but we need a regular cedar. And that's something we don't have. So maybe that's something we can look into. And... Uh, Maybe I need some. I need to learn. I need some better driver drivers. I need some better driving lessons. <laughs> um, all right, so we're getting close to town. Uh, we got to watch out for traffic. I need to make sure I don't hit any cars and no cars hit me. So, wow, we are all over the place. All over the place. There we go. All right. Well, we're gonna make our way, and then we'll pick y'all up here when we get into town. Guys, we are passing Whammer's house. Look at this. Look off to the left. Dude's got a dog on. He's got a boat and everything. What, me, bro, are you... I mean, you're going fishing right now? With a Bronco. Look at this cat, man. God, dog. Okay. I'm going to have to come over here and hang out with Whammer more. Do some, do some farm work. Maybe he'll take me out on the boat. All right, guys. This was a struggle, but the driver already made it down here. Um, it was down here, all the way down here at the tractor supply. That's where the cell point was at. So we are down here. We made it. And I, just for that, for all the struggles, I'm just going to push a big old pile of snow right here. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to sell that and let's, let's get this sold and get our money and let's go get out on the field, um, and do some field work. Golly, this was aggravating. Never again do I want to have to deal with the snow. <laughs> all right, we'll get this sold. Ooh, morning, 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 guys. So it's the following day. Um, it's 7.55 right now in the morning, but it looks as if it's like still almost five o'clock in the morning. It's so dark. I, I was up at like five this morning thinking I can get out, do some work, and it was pitch, like it was just like pitch black, dark. It was just dark. So 
Um, we were able to get in the fields a little bit yesterday, or in a field yesterday. Uh, we were getting some disking done, some plowing, turning the field over. But I realized right now I'm only running singles. I need to put my doubles on because we are having some traction issues. Can I get through this door? I have to like squat to get through my own door. Come on, let's go, bud. There we go. All right, so um, we got on. We had also we had to put equipment up. We had equipment everywhere. I, I still, I haven't put. It was like I just had stuff all over the yard, and uh, yeah, I need to put it up. Get it. Get all the tractors here in the heated shop. I got the. Uh, um implement barn over there i got most of the implements in there i'm still trying to figure out my corn header I, I don't know if i have anything that is big enough to store my corn header let me start this up real quick move the massey out the way i gotta pull my john deere in here uh i'm gonna slap the duels on the deer so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put the duels on the deer um because and i think i want to why did i get back in there I think I want to add some more weights to it because uh, I mean even though our, our disc plow isn't that huge it's still we were having some traction issues in the far, on the fields because with the s snow and all that you know freezing over it got a little cold last night like it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit right now so it, it got pretty cold um, so we're gonna pull this in here real quick let's get these duels slapped on there and we'll get back out in the field um, and that's what we'll be doing uh, I have another 62,000 I guess you can say gallons or liters uh, I don't know however in in here we go by liters right uh, I got another 62,000 liters of diesel fuel sitting at the ethanol plant for me to pick up so um, I can do that later we'll see right now we're not hurting for money but let me go ahead and get this thing uh, switched over and then uh, I'll pick you guys up when we're heading back out to the field all right, so we got that done. Uh, closing up the shop here. Don't want to let all the heat out. Not trying to heat everybody here in Georgetown. But man, look at my truck. Look how it. For some reason, it, I lo just love the way it looks right now. It looks really good. Um, yeah. I, w I can't wait to take that plow off. From what I was told, man, plows do some some extra, extra, extra stress on trucks. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to get it off. So anyways, we threw we put duels all the way around, put some weights on there, added some weights, and then, uh, yeah, let's go get out in this field and uh, let's get this task started. Uh, like I said, I started on the field closest here to the farm. Uh, yeah, it was it was a struggle. Now look, I tried to push the snow around, guys, and you can tell I'm not I'm not used to this. So I. I <laughs> Uh, I'm not too used to this. Uh, I hope it actually heats up fairly decent today to melt the snow and not let it melt and then refreeze and cause it to turn into ice. So that's what I'm not hoping for. So, yeah, we started on the fields. Uh, we got a pretty good little bit done on this field right here, which is field. I believe this is field 10, 9. No, this is field. Yeah, field 9. So we got started on it. And uh, we need to... We need to go ahead and finish. Oh, soil still frozen. Can't work it. So I'm still, I, that, yep. I didn't know that. Oh, there's an icon up there, duh. So check it out. Uh, I'm still frozen over here. I can't do anything. I didn't realize it. Is it, it's literally not letting me do anything. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Uh, Learn something new, there we go. So soil is still frozen. We can't do anything with that, so. Um, I guess we can go make an early morning diesel run or or whatever. I'm not sure. Good night. Um, so, yeah, this is what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm learning. Wow, wee woo woo. All right. Well, what do y'all think we should do? Um, make a run and go get some diesel, or because I mean we're gonna have to wait. Let's see. Let me pull. Let me pull up the. Uh, weather app here oh it's not gonna get oh it's not gonna allow me to do anything until what around about noon today is that how yeah, that's how that works let's see 
Yeah, I, so I, for me to do anything, I think it has to be over 32 degrees, correct? Yeah. All right, well. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we're going to go park this beast and uh, think about what, we're, what else we're going to do. All right, then. All right, guys, so we decided to go ahead and come on over here and pick up another 42,000 liters worth of diesel. Um, and we got to take it over there to the BP, which is close to the farm. So it's going to work out for us. So with that being said, there's like 22, no, there's like 20,000 liters left of diesel fuel. So I think I'm just going to come back and get that and bring it to the farm and then divvy it out. You know, I can use that. Um, but yeah, let's go see because the price is actually pretty good. So let's go see how much money we make without wrecking on the way over there. Uh, I've tried to plow the roads as best as possible. So... Yep, let's go, uh, let's go make us a trip. Yeah, boy. Well, it looks like Whammer's out here doing something. I just saw his Bronco's not... <laughs> and it's pretty dark in the cab here. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I saw Whammer's Bronco isn't hooked up to his boat anymore, so he must be out here doing some work. Let's see if we can see him. I see lights on on his tractor. I guess he is over there doing work. Yeah, I see, I see his lights on, but I don't know what he's doing. He's probably out there tending to his animals. Did his? I wonder if his pond froze over. Oh, that would be cool to go check out. Got his chickens right there. They're probably doing pretty good. So, anyways, <laughs> we'll keep on rolling. All right, we're about to unload again. So, forty-two thousand liters or gallons. Let's see how much money we make. Oh, we're creeping up there. Oh, we are creeping up there for sure. We just made, okay, so $72,915. That's not bad at all. So now we're sitting at $413,000. So we're doing pretty good, guys. Can't complain, can't complain at all. Wouldn't do no good if we did. <laughs> um, But, all right then, well, since I see, you can tell I've already started some work on that field. That was yesterday when it was nice and warm. But today, everything is still frozen, and we're going to have to wait a while before uh, the ground is thawed out so we can do some more turning over. Uh, but until then, I guess all we're going to do is just, I guess I can go pester Whammer, uh, go bother some other farmers, you know, <laughs> or get my truck hung up. Good night. I've, I've had the worst, worst luck with this truck and the traffic. Well, yeah. Look at this. Doggone traffic, man. Georgetown traffic is ruthless, buddy. They do not. They have. They don't have a, a give a darn in their body. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's ride over here to Whammers real quick. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Well, darn it! I thought for sure when we passed by here earlier. I thought this. His little pond was frozen over, but um, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely not frozen. I guess yesterday it, it was able to thaw out enough. I don't know, but this side of the county definitely definitely got a lot more snow than our side for sure. Cause over here everything is covered, everything is covered like everywhere. Over there towards the ethanol plant is all covered. What's he? Let's check him out. What's he doing? Man, this dude's got it set up over here. Picnic table by the by the pond. Oh, he's offloading some seed and stuff. Whammer's putting in work, bud. Always putting in work. But yeah, see, that's why he's 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 a lot he's a lot more successful farmer than we are for sure. But anyways, guys. Oh man, that that deer sounds good, bud. That saw gun sounds good. Listen to that thing. But yeah, buddy. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching today's episode here on Georgetown, New York. Uh, what is snow? You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> it's new to me. <laughs> anyways, uh, that'll be it for us today. Uh, we got to wait for the weather to warm up before we do anything else. Again, you shout out to all you guys that sub to the channel. 
much love from me to you guys y'all are making the new boot uh crew fam whatever we want to call it y'all are making it grow so i appreciate y'all so much don't forget uh if you like what you see hit that thumbs up pound the sub button you know hit the bell when you so you can be notified when new boot puts out a video also i have discord and facebook um the links are in the description below don't forget you can come join uh discord if you'd like but until next time guys i'll see y'all on the flip flop yeah yeah